Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something very different than uh, what I normally do. If you've been following my channel, you know I have about 10 and a half acres here. It's like 10.6. And a little over 80 acres of it is wooded, I believe. I've, I've used an app to kind of measure some, some of the area. And uh, we have a lot of deer activity out here. Now, I'm not... A hunter so to say I have hunted never with any success am I gonna hunt in the future maybe I don't know but I'm more curious about what what wildlife I have here and what the deer populations like I see signs of deer all the time uh, we have a couple uh, well-established paths without throughout the property from deer and um, I'm curious to see what's out there. So um, I bought some trail cams off of Amazon after watching a review on YouTube. I will try to put that review video in the link below. I'll put a link in the description below, an Amazon affiliate link, that if you want to try one of these trail cams yourself, you can uh, purchase, purchase that down below. Take them out of the box, get them set up, and, and put them in the woods. I'll, I'll do a follow-up video on footage, you know, and it'll be ongoing. Um, whenever I have something to share from any one of these trail cams, I'll, I'll update that footage. So, let's get them out of the box, take a look, quick look at them, set them up, and then uh, we'll go out in the woods and plug them in. Or turn them on turn them on all right so these are trail cams by digital trail cams by cam cam park cam park being china and it's got a 0.550 or 0 0.55 trickle trigger time five months standby time uh, good in, in temperature range out here it does shoot in 1080p, 16 megapixel images, and it's got um, whatever it takes to shoot at night. Uh, the So I set up one on my deck last night to test out, and it, 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 it does take good um, night shots. So let's not make this a super long video. I'm going to open one of these, so you, show you what's in the box, and then we'll set it up. A couple cards. Here's the camera. Nice and compact. That's pretty small. Camouflaged. Just come with some mounting hardware and strap. I will be using the strap. Has a USB cable, and probably a plate to screw to a tree, I would believe. Here's the strap, we'll use that. And then, looks like a swivel mount with quarter 20 adapters. That'll come in handy for the GoPro. <laughs> and then, operating instructions. Alright, we'll read those later. I figured it out pretty quickly. So, get these set up so um, it does come with a bunch of film on the front of all these sensors you got to peel these off get off me lens is covered I really hope to see uh, some big bucks on this property like I said, I don't know if I'll ever hunt, ever take it seriously. Um, I'm not against it, just I don't have time to do the stuff I want to do now. All right, so I did buy lithium ion batteries, uh, hope, hoping to give myself a little bit of an advantage there. I do like the fact that it's, it runs off AA batteries, so if I 
I can just carry spares with me while I'm checking the cameras. And then uh, switch them out in the field. I do need, I bought four memory cards. I actually need eight because if you have all four of these set up, You're not going to want it. It does have an LCD screen in there that you can review the videos and footage. But you're going to want to... I mean, it's okay for quick... Just real quick checking it. But you're going to want to put this on your camera and really take a look at the video. So, um... You just insert this card in the side. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? I'd like to be able to just swap these SD cards out in the field. So on the bottom here, it has a little switch. You're going to put that in the middle. If you could read it, it says set up. The middle position. So pretty easy to use. Click on menu. Uh, we're going to scroll down and format our memory card. All right. Now we're going to go back up. We're going to check our photo resolution. That's what we want. 16 medical, me megapixels for the series. Um, let's do let's do three photos. I'm probably going to change all this stuff. Video resolution as time goes on. Um, I'm going to set this one. At... No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go bigger. Go home. We'll go 1080p. Uh, video length. We'll go, we'll go 10 seconds. Um, audio recording. Um, yes. Shot lag. I don't know what that means. We'll leave it on the default setting. Sensitivity. I'll put it in the medium. Target recording time. We're not going to deal with that. We're not going to do time lapse. It's in English. Let's do time and date. It's a time and date. Um, 2020. Oh. And today is the... Ten. Oh, wait. Is it 10? Oh, it doesn't matter. Both 10, 10. Do. And then it is approximately 1507. All right, back to this. Then photo stamp. What is it? Yeah, we want photo stamp on. We're going to password protect. We don't care about the deep sound. We already did that. I'm going to serial number of these. Um, this will be number two. And that's it. What's the move? I want to my video. Alright. So it is all set. All we do is close it back. Oh. So when we get out in the woods, we'll set this to on. Then it has a countdown on the screen of 15 seconds. And then it's then it's ready to go. So we'll turn it off for now. You can lock these. It's pretty cool. All right, so I got to set up the other two, and then we'll go set them up in the woods. All right. So this is a trail I made. And I might put a camera on it because I know animals will often use trails, path of least resistance. But, um, more importantly, there is a trail right about there. And once we get up here, I'll show you. It gets a lot more use than what this one does probably it's gonna be impossible to see but there's there's a trail right here it sneaks through these woods these thick woods it's like a jungle If you can 
see the path coming right through. So this is getting a lot of traffic, so I'm gonna set up the camera here. You can really see it through this way. Yeah. It gets a lot of traffic, that's for sure. So, we'll see. I don't know which way they're coming from. I'm assuming they come from that way. But hopefully we'll get some pictures and figure it out. And then uh, pictures and videos. Make adjustments. I've never used trail cams before, I'm kind of excited. Alright, hookers and mosquitoes. Evils. Evils on this planet. I'm trying to decide where I want to go next. Could put one by the ponds. Well, I could put one on each pond. I know we got traffic on the ponds. Let's do that. Let's see what's going on on the ponds. I can always move them. There's a big tree down here that's gonna fall. I wouldn't mind capturing. All right, I might have to play around with these pond ones because I'm not sure. So I have it set up here. I'm not sure what the sensitivity is like because I know they used to walk back here and go and get a drink from the pond. And there used to be a trail up in the woods that went across my field into a ditch, into a farmer's field. So they used to come all the way down this property and drink from this pond. So I don't know if that's gonna to be too far away for this to pick up any motion, but I do have a trail down this side too. So 
they might come up through that trail. I don't know. We'll see if it gets anything. We'll leave it out here for a couple days and if there's no action, then maybe I'll move it closer down there to one of those trees over there. And then that way they gotta walk past it. I'm just trying to capture the whole pond to see where they're coming from. That would be basically the view from the uh, trail cam. So, we'll see. I don't know if that'll work or not. Um, never used trail cams before. Like I said, I got these off of Amazon after watching a review. All the information will be down below. Hopefully we'll have some updated uh, pictures soon, next day or two. That first one we set up back there, that one's going to get action pretty quick, I think. I think they go through that, that area pretty pretty often. If I was hunting, I'd be setting a uh, deer stand up back there, right on that path. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um... Some chainsaw videos coming up soon, I think. I'm waiting on a... I ordered a... Uh, I might as well tell you. If you stuck around this long, you care. I ordered a um, bark box muffler for the 500i. Um, I just I just love the way that 461 sounds so much. I gotta I gotta upgrade to 500. So that should be coming early this week. What I plan on doing is a video where um, I'll cut some wood with the factory muffler I'll slap on that bark box and then we'll cut with the bark box and you guys can see the, the improvement in sound you're not gonna notice a horse the the power change it, it's five to ten percent horsepower gains I think is what they claim the thing cuts fine I just I want it to sound better so I mean, if you got to listen to this thing for several hours at a time, it might as well sound cool. That's it. They're back to shooting, so. I'm going to wrap this video up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.